Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to find the solution for a problem which says a track consists of two circular part ABC and CDE of equal radius 100 meter and joined smoothly as shown in figure. Each part subtends a right angle at the center. A cycle weighing 100 kg together with the rider travels at a constant speed of 18 km per hour on the track. And we have to find the multiple different parts. So let's discuss one by one. So for part A, find the normal contact force by the road on the cycle when it is at B and D. So let's say at this particular point, right? So at this particular point, the mg force will act downward direction, mv square by r will act upward direction and normal force will also be in upward direction, right? So at point B, so I'll write nb plus mv square by r should be equal to mg, right? Or I can say nb is equal to mg minus mv square by r. Now M is given as 100 kg, G is 10, so this will become 1000 minus M is again 100 into V is given as 18 km per hour, that means 5 meter per second. So V is 5, so that means 25 upon R is 100 meter. So this will become 975 Newton. Again, we have to also calculate this uh, normal force at point D. So in this particular case, the normal force will be upward direction. The downward is mg as well as mv square by r. So that means n at d will be mg plus mv square by r. Now if we put the values, m is 100 into g is 10. So that means 1000 plus m is 100 into v is again 5 meter per second. So that means 5 square is 25 upon r is 100 so that means it will become 1025 newton so this is the solution for part a now for part b we have to calculate the force of friction exerted by the track on the tire when the cycle is at b comma c and d so at point b and d there will be no skidding of the cycle so that means if the skidding is not there, then the frictional force is zero at point B and D, right? Now at point C, the mg force will act downward direction. Now this angle is 90 degree. If we, I draw a vertical here, so this angle is 45 degree. So that means this is also 45 degree. So there will be two component. One is mg cos 45 degree along the radial and here it is going to be mg sine 45 degree now if we have to calculate the frictional he frictional force here at point c so the frictional force will act in the opposite direction that is f and this f frictional force should be equal to mg sine 45 degree now the value of m is 100 into g is 10 into sin 45 degree is 1 by root 2 so this will become 707 newton so this is the solution for part b now for part c we have to calculate the normal force between the road and the cycle just before and just after the cycle crosses c so let's say there is a point one here and the second point is here now draw it separately so let's say this is a curved path from a to c here I am just trying to calculate just before C, which is mg will act downward. The normal will act perpendicular to the surface. The mg cos theta, so if this is theta, so mg cos theta will act in this direction and mv square by r will act radially outward. So n in this particular case is going to be mg cos theta minus mv square by r. Whereas in part C to E, the mv square by r will act outward, n will act inward and the mg will act downward, right? This will be angle theta. So mg cos theta this time will act along outside with mv square by r. So in this particular case, so this n will become, let's say this is nce is equal to mv square by r plus mg cos 
theta now from a to c that was n a to c is equal to mg cos theta minus mv square by r now at point c theta is equal to 45 degree r is 100 meter m is 100 kg and velocity of the cycle v is 5 meter per second now putting all this value n c e will become 100 into 25 upon 100 plus 100 into 10 into 1 by root 2 so that means in this case 25 plus 707 that means 732 newton and for this one n a c it is going to be m is 100 into 10 into 1 by root 2 minus 100 into 25 upon r so that means it is going to be 682 newton now this is the solution for part c now for part d this time we have to calculate what should be the minimum friction coefficient between the road and the tire which will ensure that the cyclist can move with constant speed so from the earlier part we get to know that the n a c is less than n c e now from the figure this was the point c right at this point the mg was acting downward and the mg cos theta and mg sin theta was acting like this so the friction was opposite to mg sin theta right and the n is acting upward direction now to safely move this so frictional force that is f required should be less than equal to mu into n so this n is minimum at ac right so f required is nothing but mg sin theta should be less than equal to mu times n ac was 682 newton now putting the value here m is 100 into g is 10 into sin 45 degree is 1 by root 2 less than mu times 682 so mu should be greater than equal to 707 divided by 682 that means 1.037 so this is the mu minimum which is required to safely move this cycle from this track and the value is 1.037 so this is the solution of this problem